So today I'm gonna start painting my Monarch Butterfly. Um, the first color I'm gonna paint is white because my brush will be really clean, my butterfly doesn't have any other paint on it, and the white just picks up the other colors so easily. So I wanna make sure anywhere I'm gonna put white has no pencil in it because the um, pencil shows through the white. The white is so light. So I just wanna make sure that I erase any little pencil bits that I need to. And then I'm gonna start putting in the white Get my brush, a little bit of white paint. If you hold your paintbrush straight up and down, you can be a little bit more precise inside those spaces because you'll have more of a point on the end of your brush. So I'm gonna paint inside, and actually I'm not that worried right now about staying inside the lines because when I paint the black around the white, I can just cover up any white that I don't need, any white that went outside. But I wanna stay inside enough that I can see the shape when I start adding in black. So next I'm gonna add in the oranges, the yellowish orange, the reddish orange in for the wings. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white on my brush and actually I think I'm gonna even use a little bit more white to kind of mellow the color and make the color a little bit more like pastel-y. I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna work from yellow to more of like a reddish. So I'll put a little bit of red into my yellow this is just like when i was painting shades the red is stronger so i want to start putting the stronger darker color the red into the lighter color the yellow okay so there i have a nice light orange i might decide to add a little bit more white in there if i want it to be more pastel-y like we talked about not quite so strong and bright and I noticed on my butterfly that it kind of was yellower down at the bottom and then like more of like a reddish orange up at the top. So I'm gonna start down here and I'm gonna paint in some of these sections. Same as the white, I'm not too worried about staying inside the lines because um, the black will cover up anything that goes outside. So I'm just kind of getting some paint down quickly. You notice this color is pretty see-through. I really can see any little marks that are on my paper. So I wanna make sure that before I start painting, I erase anything extra, and I can also add another layer of paint once my paint starts to dry. Okay. And once I do a few of the spaces, I want my orange to get a little bit darker. So what I'm gonna do is mix in a little bit more red and when I say darker, I don't mean darker like a shade. I don't mean that I'm adding black to it. I just mean I want it to get a little bit more red, less yellow. So now I'm getting into, I would say, more of like a true um, orange color. Not really that yellowy orange anymore, more of like a real orange. I need to be careful with my hand because my white is still a little bit wet. I don't want to put my hand into my white. Okay. Now I think I'm going to start adding in little by little. I want to make each one of these little sections a little bit uh, closer to that reddish orange. So now each time I'm gonna do one, maybe two. Then I'm gonna add in some more red. A 
Remember, a little bit of red goes a long way in that yellow because the yellow is so light. If I start to paint and I'm like, whoa, that maybe made a big jump. It's got too orange. I could always paint over it. I could always kind of scoop up a little bit of the lighter that was left over and paint over it. Maybe I want to save that next reddish orange for up here. Okay, and then I'm going to make really like a pretty red, I think, for this one. We'll see how that looks. So that's too red. Let me go back and get a little lighter. Okay, there we go. So my butterfly has so many different colors right now. A really yellowish orange and then kind of um, still yellowish but more orange, kind of more of a true orange and then starting to become a reddish orange and then really like a reddish orange up here. I have one, two, three, four, five different oranges on my paper right now. So that's a great spot to be. So I'm gonna leave my butterfly there for today. Today I'm going to be working on adding color in um, around the orange and the white, so adding black in. And I am going to um, have to work very carefully today because um, last time when I added the color I didn't really care about going over the lines since I knew the black would cover that up, but today it's the black, so it does matter where the black goes. So I'm going to work really carefully. Um, around the edges. If I hold my brush more vertically, more up and down, and I just barely push down, I can get a very thin line. So I'm going to start out by taking my black and outlining all of my shapes. I want to go over the pencil lines. I don't want to see any of the pencil lines showing through. So right now I'm going around the shapes and around the edge of the wing as well. Cover up that pencil. So now that I've gone around all of the outlines and all of the shapes, I can go ahead and fill in the rest of the black. It's a little bit easier because I have the outlines to guide me. It really helps 
with my craftsmanship. It helps it look nice and neat that I did all the outlines first. 